<laughs> Everybody have a good evening tonight. Yeah. Don't you patronize me. <laughs> you know something I really enjoy? It's, it's one of my great pleasures in life. I love it when celebrities get in trouble. But I don't mean that, you know, Penny Annie, Pissant, TMZ, tabloid style trouble. I mean serious legal problems. I mean Kobe style trouble. <laughs> Polanski style trouble. OJ style trouble. That's what I enjoy. I love it when that happens. You know why? Not because of the celebrities. I could give a shit about them. No. I love watching people argue about this. It's the most entertaining <laughs> shit in the world. It's great. I mean, people get so passionate about this. I've seen fights erupt. I've seen friendships end. Two people who never, ever, ever want to see each other again simply because one of them really thinks Michael Jackson didn't do it. <laughs> it's hilarious to me. And the fascinating thing is that there's only ever really two arguments you ever hear. On one side, you have these people who are fans, you know? They're passionate fans. No matter what the person does, they're an athlete, a director, a writer, musician, these people try to defend them based on their work. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, people five or six years back, oh, come on, he sang Thriller. Those kids are liars. You can't convince me that that man dancing like that could do anything so terrible to somebody. And what these people don't understand is that literally everyone, probably everyone in history who has ever done something terrible had at least one thing they were really talented at. I mean, imagine if they applied this to other criminals. You ever hear anybody going, I don't care what you say, Charles Manson was a great songwriter. <laughs> I mean, come on, he hung around with the Beach Boys. I trust their judgment. <laughs> you know, Jim Jones was a great public speaker. We are a really charismatic guy. I don't know what this Kool-Aid nonsense is. You can just drop that. I don't know that. You know, Hitler was a great painter. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, that one's a lie. I've seen his paintings. They're shit. <laughs> And on the other side, you have these people who are so bizarrely, just to an insane degree, vindictive and suspicious of anybody famous. They're ready to pounce on this shit like they were planning, oh yeah, come on, get in trouble, you son of a bitch, come on, I'm gonna jump on it. Like, they're watching the news, they go, what? Woody Allen did what? Hang that son of a bitch, burn his house down, put his head on a pike! Make an example, I want justice for regular everyday people! They get so morally, you know, righteously <laughs> indignant, it's bullshit. But, you could just make up the most extravagant, stupid lie about the most innocuous celebrity and they believe it. Like, you could walk up to them, say, did you hear they found out Tom Hanks has actually secretly been a Nazi, Satanist, pedophile this whole time? Ah, don't surprise me. I never trusted him. Smiling all the time. You can't trust them smiling assholes, because they're hiding something. <laughs> Show you their teeth instead of the truth. <laughs> oh, really, because it turns out he also has access to time travel technology. He's in fact responsible for every great tragedy in history. Holocaust, Tom Hanks. Ice Age, Tom Hanks. Disco, Tom Hanks. <laughs> Oh, that don't surprise me either. I could have told you that. All them Hollywood types got time machines. They're trying to keep them from us. You know, it's funny you say that because, uh, turns out he also has a James Bond villain-esque secret lair and is, in fact, as we speak, working on a plan to block out the sun. <laughs> Isn't that just like one of them celebrities? Try to distract us from the scandal with some environmental bullshit. <laughs> It doesn't make for good conversation, but it does entertain a sick asshole like me. Thank you very much. <laughs>